Okay, so I did a thing earlier today. I took my first yoga class since 2000. Yeah, 21 years ago. I have taken online classes, like streamed classes. One of the huge differences between taking a real class versus online is of course, nobody can actually see me. And more importantly, nobody's actually correcting any of my moves. So I was pretty nervous about this class, but I was really excited because it's an aerial class. So I found this class a few weeks ago, like maybe even a month ago. I was literally just walking around the barrio, walking around the city. This is the one we're doing. This is what we're not doing. Just doing this one. And I noticed this sign and this picture of an aerial yoga class and a dance class. And I just thought, ooh, this is so not me, but it's also super intriguing. And yeah, so I decided to take it. So it's at Bayou Studios. And today I was her only student. So I was able to kind of let her know my skill set, which is zero, my lack of flexibility. I've got back issues, knee issues, shoulder issues. I've got all kinds of issues, but she worked really well with me. And because I was the only student, she was able to keep it at kind of my level. We kept it very relaxed. It was almost like getting a massage. Like I was, it was just a really great stretch that I got today, which I haven't had in forever. And in fact, I loved it so much that we're gonna go again again with Alex because Alex also needs flexibility help. And so she offers three different types of classes. The one I took was aerial yoga and the maximum capacity in her studio is four students, which is great if you need a lot of one-on-one -on -one time, which I do, and not so great if you've got a large family or if you've got a lot of friends that you kind of want to invite to go with you. So just know only four students available at a time. And so please call in advance and let her know that you're coming just so she knows if she can accommodate having additional students or not. You do not need to bring any special supplies. I do recommend some kind of athletic attire. I do not really have that here. So I'll be on the hunt to buy myself some because definitely would have made it a little more comfortable. And so for the aerial yoga class, she offers it twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. And it costs 100 pesos a class. If you wanna pay for four weeks in advance, you can get the eight classes for 700 pesos, which is nice. And anyone who pays monthly is guaranteed a spot but for anyone who wants to just show up and, and hope for a class there's a chance that there's no availability because again only room for four students she also offers Monday and Wednesday mornings she offers aerial dance class and afternoons at 4 30 and again at 6 30 she also offers the aerial dance class if you are interested i'm actually really hoping that alex also wants to do that class because i don't know it was just really fun today and i think it would be something fun for alex to do routinely because i was the only student i was able to record so i'm going to show you some of the shots of my class but just know that she geared the class to my level which is super super low but she's also able to help anyone who considers themselves to be an advanced yoga practitioner or if you're super flexible or athletic all of that jazz but if you're afraid of doing yoga and especially aerial yoga no fear she's got you this is such a pretty street and there's the studio, and it's just so pretty. You press the button to let them know you're here.
don't want to make a video. I really don't. Like, I, I'm, we're going to. We're going to be good. <sighs> we're not going to have scarcity mindset. We're going to, we're going to feel good about this. But the reason is her capacity is only four students at a time. For aerial dance, she can do five. If somebody is related, like if somebody's willing to share the silk, she can do five. But for what I just took, her capacity is four. And it's so good. She needs a bigger studio and, and more supplies, et cetera, et cetera. This was a very rejuvenating type of class, rejuvenating type of yoga. So it was much more stretching than anything else. Um, so I loved it. She does have a dance class, an aerial dance class, and that one does require more stamina, more energy. I might, I don't know, I, I might go to one of those anyway, but I highly, highly recommend this. Because of the limited space, I would recommend calling, call or Facebook message at least the day before so she can prep, make sure she's got what she needs, and so she knows her numbers. I was the only person there today because her two regular students are out this week. So like I said, only capacity for four. I'm not living in scarcity. So I'm gonna let you know about it. But it was amazing. I feel so relaxed. I feel I've got, like I mentioned earlier, back, knee, shoulder issues. And it was like a massage, but also better. I don't know. Highly recommend. Do your best not to go when I go, which might be every time. I'm gonna try to get Alex to go to the next one at least. And we'll just see. We'll just see what happens because that was awesome. And it makes me excited for what other classes she has or what, like what other levels she can do. <sighs> amazing, amazing, amazing.